The Derwent exhibition here at the Tasmania Museum and Art Gallery was fantastic. It involved having new innovative works by David Stevenson and Martin Walsh, creating three galleries that were extremely immersive, but all engaged with the Derwent River and the Derwent River catchment areas. What we were able to do was to produce the first complete whole of watershed representation of the Derwent River over a year. The work really ended up giving us a very intimate view of subtle changes in the environment from day to day, from minute to minute, but these more dramatic changes from month to month and year to year. Uh, and the work shows how the natural environment responds to those changes. For us, the opportunity to work with our colleagues at the University of Tasmania is fantastic. We were really excited to be able to present the results of David and Martin's experimentation and research. Conceptually, it was really exciting the way they were exploring issues around the idea of the Anthropocene, specifically in relation to the Derwent and the catchment areas. But they were also doing research in relation to panoramic visions and the discipline of photography. Photograph every five minutes for two years, you end up with something like 2.5 million photographs. We produced time-lapse animations from those and we shot uh, four-channel immersive video from small watercraft and uh, recording sound from the environment at the same time. What we wanted to do was to trial new methods for developing immersive representations of remote environments so that we could go to places, develop imagery in those places and bring it back to an audience such that audiences could understand the values in those environments and also, in a sense, travel there virtually without putting extra foot pressure on the environments that we were imaging. It was the sort of work where people would come in and become absorbed. It would enable people to question their own response, their own engagement with the environment. And far from being didactic, it did enable people to begin to challenge their own ideas and their own thoughts about the impact of people on the environment and maybe leave that exhibition with a little bit more of a sense of respect and wonderment for the world around us.